Our Lying Eyes, Cognitive Bias and Survival in Visual Perception Visual perception may be more influenced by the utility of information than we've ever imagined. A new study suggests cognitive biases can start as early as at the retina level. There has long been a debate in neuroscience. Do our senses offer a full representation of the world, or are they survival tools? The answer might not be what you expect. Previous research showed human perception is far from complete and can be quite selective. And now, researchers have begun to explore the conditions under which these perceptual distortions occur and when they begin. In a new study, researchers found our brains adjust visual perceptions based on our interests, indicating that cognitive distortions can begin at the level of the retina. The researchers designed an experiment with 86 participants, who were asked to repeatedly compare two black and white striped patterns, known as Gabor patches. In the first round, correct answers earned points. But in the second round, the point system was changed, points increased regardless of the answer's correctness. The participants' assessments of the Gabor patches angles varied between rounds, revealing that perception was not based on objective reality but rather on how to gain the most points. This finding hints that, rather than being an error, Cognitive distortions may be an efficient way for our limited cognitive resources to process the world. Even at the level of the retina, useful information is prioritized. In a twist, artificial intelligence agents exhibited similar perceptual biases when they were subjected to the same experiment. This implies that these distortions may be deeply rooted, arising even before we consciously process what we see. Our perception is designed more for utility maximization than for providing a complete representation of the world. And while this realization doesn't simplify our understanding of cognitive biases, it does provide new avenues for identifying and correcting these biases. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.